We are back with Chef Ryan Nolan from Mahoney's Grill in Oshkosh. Uh, you've just moved there. Yes. And not to kind Oshkosh, of, to Mahoney's. To Mahoney's. And what kind of food do you do there? Uh, it's great. You know, it's kind of like your neighborhood kind of pub. So we're kind of using, not to use that cliche term, gastropub, but we're trying to push it that way, you know, with a really emphasis on food, but still a casual place in the neighborhood. Come in after a golf game, come in for lunch from the office. And, you know, can have a quick appetizer at the bar or a sandwich or a nice entree as well, And on too. Tuesday nights you do tacos? Yeah, we're doing... And the, we're doing this uh, is what he steak, made last time. Yeah, we're doing the steak tacos, we're doing pork carnitas, Ooh. and then a fish taco. It's a mahi-mahi with a fruit salsa, uh, so... And now he's going to show us a great drink to wash yes. it all down with. Yeah, and it's really simple, and we came up with it because we just had a glutton of mint and basil in the kitchen one mm -hmm. day. And it's really hot back there, so we wanted to make something light and refreshing. Turns out it was great, and uh, you can get it at the bar now, too. It's so this like is your creation. Let's make it. Well, I'm sure it's been done before, but in my head, I created it, you know. So <laughs> and it's then really for all of us, this right. is yours. Exactly. For now, it is. For the next and what is minutes. it? What do you call it? Um, we're going to call it uh, uh, kind of like a, a, an herbed citrus summer cooler. Love it. You know? Okay. So all we've right. got some citrus fruit. We've got lemons, limes, and oranges, and we're just going to, you know, juice it right in there. And once we're juiced... Throw the whole thing in there. We're not throwing it away. We're going to use the flavor from the rind and everything else like that. So we'll start out with all that. Can I work on that for you while sure. you, you prepare the... I just know you didn't like juicing things. I know, so, but, but with I'll... the reamer, it should help a okay. little bit. Okay, but now I know you've got some, the herbs. Some fresh basil, and you what just want to make seeds? sure... What about the seeds? Can I just... Yeah, seeds, everything okay. right in there, because okay. we're going to try and make sure we pour it off okay. so we don't get in there. But we've got some fresh mint and some fresh basil, and you want to make sure that you do wash it and rinse it, especially if you get it from your garden or the farmer's market, just to make sure there's any dirt off of it. Unless oh, you okay. like drinking dirt, I yeah. mean, that's fine with me, too. It's your choice. Makes you stronger. Exactly. And um, <clears throat> so... <laughs> just kidding. You can go anywhere from, like, one ounce to four ounces of each herb if you want it really strong and herby okay. well, we're gonna, but we got about two ounces of each here okay and, and then you just throw that in here yeah okay I mean, throw it's it in that simple we don't have to muddle it or anything you know we like to talk and then we run out of time exactly you just go for coffee one day and get it over with <laughs> And then we're going to have about a cup of sugar. Now, you can go with a half a cup. You can go with no sugar. It depends okay. on what you want. It just helps take oh, okay. a little some of the acid right. off. And then a pinch or two of kosher salt because nothing's wrong with a little salt. So once you would have that, you would fill it up with water. It's about a gallon pitcher. That pretty. You'd fill it up with water. Let it chill in the fridge for a couple hours. <gasps> and this is what Look we got here. Look at that. Now, you that. could go over some crushed ice with it. You could go neat with it. You could do regular ice. You could add rum or vodka. Rum or vodka. Just saying. Anything you want. So we didn't, I didn't, forgot to grab ice out of the fridge, so we'll just do it without it. All right, I'm going to try and that real quick, if you don't mind. Garnish it like this, and then we got the little <gasps> mint sprays over there, Look how pretty that is. Too, and you could garnish it with the orange if you wanted, or anything else, but should be nice and light, I hope. It's delicious. Good. <laughs> it's uh, a relief. Chef uh, shared his recipes with us for this and the tacos, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin, and we'll be right back.